when we spoke last week, mm -hmm. you can come up with a great line, so I'm going to try and make sure I repeat <laughs> it. You describe text as the final frontier it for is. survey research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about that, both mm -hmm. from what Perceptix is already providing in this space, mm -hmm. uh, but also where you see the whole topic of text going. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's surveys have included comments for as long as I can remember. And, you know, back in the day, those would all be transcribed and typed and we would hand code them into topics. Now technology enables that to happen more quickly. Mm. Um, but here's the thing. Whenever I meet with a leadership team, they're very interested in the survey data, the results, the analysis. But I, there are so many CEOs who will say to me, Sarah, I read every single comment. I sat down with a book of 10,000, 20,000, however many comments there were, and I read every single one of them. And I think to myself, okay, that's nice. It shows you're interested, mm. but I don't know what you took away from that. You can't read comments like a novel and come away with any sort of understanding because there's no organizing framework for that information. You know, comments really are the final frontier because we have the ability to pull tremendous insights out of them. But the challenge is you are faced with literally millions of words in multiple different languages and how do you make sense out of it? And to just read the comments is not gonna give you a tenth of the insight you could pull out of it. So as we think of comments going forward, we are looking for not just sentiment analysis, because it's kind of interesting that a comment is positive or negative, but it's really more interesting what is in the comment. What is the employee identifying as the way forward? So we are starting to look at programming around unstructured comment analysis, using NLP to search all of these patterns within the text data and start to form the themes organically from the comments that people read. I think when you do that, beyond just theming based on keywords or keyword dictionaries, you start to pull themes out of the data that you would otherwise wouldn't have found. Now, one of the things that I think our, our tools are exceptionally good at is not just finding the themes in the comment, but linking the comments to how employees responded to survey questions. So for example, back to our example of you know, high potential uh, younger employees who are leaving the organization very quickly. Well, if I know that, let's say, 10% of them may leave the company in the next year, I can use the Perceptix tools to ice to filter to just that group of employees, that 10%, and now I can go back and read just their comments. Yeah. And I can do keyword searches and theming around, well, what did they say that will help me understand why they want to leave the organization? So it's the ability to drill into the comments through multiple different ways, how they respond to questions, the demographics, all of that, that's going to provide us additional insights. But there's so much more work that needs to be done to help us pull that, that all of that context and all of that insight out of those comments. Because I guess you can get really specific with the use of text as well. You can start looking at certain locations or certain... Exactly business critical um, workers, right. for example, or, or ones that interface directly with customers, right. and you can get that additional insight that you maybe wouldn't get just from the survey itself, but mm -hmm. the, with the text it's... Exactly. So when you can combine the demographic filters with how they responded to specific survey questions and then what they said, I think it really starts to tell a much richer picture, a richer story about their experience within the organization, and then leads a management team or a leadership team more closely to what do I need to do about it? What are the specific issues they're experiencing? So text or unstructured data, yep. if we want to call it, is, is clearly one of the things that excites you most about the survey it research is. space. What else if we look forward? Gosh, you know, I think there is such a huge opportunity for analytics in the HR space. And, and I think the more, the more HR organizations can understand how to use their survey strategically, I think the closer we get to that. It, yeah. so, and, and, and so as we talk to companies about what is going on within your organization, what are, the what are the strategic objectives of the business, what are the leadership issues that they're trying to solve, what do we need to know about executives in our company? Is, if we can get as specific as we can about those questions and about those issues, then I think we can do richer and richer work that really guides senior leaders and guides decision-making within organizations. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.